Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to combine Lovable with NNN so you can start creating web apps all on your own. So before we start building, let's really quickly go over what a front end is, what a back end is, and how they talk to one another. So a front end is just what you, the user, interacts with whenever you go to like a website or use a web app. So when I'm here inside of ChatGPT, I'm looking at the front end right now. And if I were to ask it a prompt like, what is the front end, right? That data I just gave it the prompt then gets sent to the back end. That's where all the code is. That's where all the calculations are done. It formulates an answer and then sends it back to the front end. And so we're gonna be using Lovable to create our front end in this video. Now, if you've never used Lovable before, it's a really cool web app where you just prompt it just like you would any sort of AI LLM, and it creates the website, the web app, the landing page for you. And so that's how we're gonna do the front end. And then the back end, we're gonna be using N8N. For this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend we're building a web app that creates cover letters for people, right? So on the front end, it'll be some sort of form of submission where the user shows up and say, hey, here's my name, here's the company I'm trying to, you know, apply for, here's the role, and here's some special information about me, right? We're going to keep it really simple. If we did this for real, we'd have something where they could put their resume and all that. But just as a demo, that's what we're going to have. So they're going to fill out all that information on the front end that we build in Lovable. That data is then going to be sent to the back end inside of N8N. So via a webhook, that data is sent from the web app to N8N, which is then going to take all that information, right? The name, the role, et cetera. And then it's going to generate that cover letter. Now we're going to take it one step beyond that. We're going to add a Tavoli um, role here. So it's actually going to do some research about the company, do some research about the role. So we don't just get a super generic cover letter. But it's going to create that and then it's going to respond to the webhook, which then sends that data back over to the website we've created via Lovable. So that's how those two things interact. And so while this is going to be a very simple demo today using this cover letter example, you can very quickly see how you could start building web apps or SaaS applications with a very sophisticated NNN background and then pushing it to a Lovable built front end, right? We can do so much and create really cool applications without knowing how to code at all. So with that in mind, let's jump into it. We're gonna start with the front end on Lovable, create something that we kind of like. Then we'll go into N8N, build out the back end, and then we'll go ahead and connect the two. So here we are inside of Lovable, and I just gave it a prompt that says, hey, we're building a web app that allows users to generate cover letters. It needs to include some sort of form submission where they enter name, company, role, and any interesting information about them that they would like to include. I also wrote that we're eventually gonna hook this up to an N8N background for all the AI generation. And then in terms of what I want it to look like, I just said, make it look beautiful. Be as creative as you want here. So once you do that, just hit enter and it's gonna start building it for us. Okay, so here's what Lovable built us. Uh, just as a heads up for Lovable, if you come up here on the top and you switch to dev mode, you can actually go inside of here and see all the code. You also have the ability to like connect to Superbase from here, push it to GitHub, all sorts of stuff. Now I'll also say you have the ability to edit pretty easily. So if you come here to the bottom left near the prompt, there's an edit button. And you can actually select which specific portions of this you want to change. So um, you also have a chat button here on the bottom left as well. So you could actually talk to level without having it just like go up on its own and start coding. Nice addition because sometimes when you want to just like a back and forth brainstorming session with it, you would say one thing or just go off and start coding and you have to be like, please don't code. Um, but now you can just do that. So that's how Lovable works real quick. But here we go. Here we are inside of our application. So let's hit get started and we see our form submission. So we give our name, the target company, position role, and then any additional information we want to share. So that's pretty much it for the front end, right? We got a landing page. We know we can do the form submission. What we're gonna do now is go inside of N8N, build out the workflow there, and then we'll do some of the webhook stuff so we can actually get data moving back and forth. So here we are inside of N8N. We'll build out the skeleton of our cover letter generator, and then we'll do some webhook stuff. So First step, we're going to do webhook. And you can do for respond, do when respond to web, using respond to webhook node. And then since we'll do this later, we're just going to put some test data in here. So hit that button on the top right, the little pencil. We can delete this stuff. And then we're just going to put in like a pretend query, right, of information we've gotten before. So we'll say like, um, you know, name is name is chase um company we'll say equals open ai role equals software dev intern and we'll say info 
helping get some sort of info. I built a calculator app once. Calculator app once. Right. Why are we doing this? This is just so we can have some fake data that we can manipulate throughout the rest of the workflow. So we'll hit save for our little fake data right here. Okay, once we do that, next we're gonna create the AI agent foundation. So you'll do AI agent. We're going to create a chat model. So come down here to the bottom right, and we're just gonna do 4.1 mini. It's pretty cheap. You don't have to worry about memory, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna add the Tavily tool. So Tavily is a cool app that allows us to like scrape the internet and do like web search, just like Google or Perplexity. Um, but I really like it because it gives you a thousand credits for free. So do HTTP request tool, and then you're gonna go to Tavily.com. So here's Tavily, Tavily.com, log in, and then you're gonna see this page. If you click right here, you're gonna have your API key copied, so just be ready to use that. But first go to documentation on the left-hand side, go to quick start, scroll down, and we're going to see this curl thing right here. So I want you to copy this, go back into N8N, and then here where it says import curl, just copy paste that in, and then boom, we have pretty much all the parameters set up for a tably just like that. So what you need to do is you need to come in here and replace this portion with your API key. So come back here, copy, paste that in there. I'll delete mine after this. And then here for the query, this is the actual like question we're going to be asking tably Get rid of this. And you're going to hit this button on the right. This way the model determines what it's asking for. Last couple things come up here, rename this to Tavily tool. And then description, we're going to say um, dot research for Boom. All right, cool. Now we have our AI and we have our tool. Now we want to pop into here and for source for prompt, we'll do define below, pull in this query. And now we want to do the system message. So here's what we're going to explain. Here's the data you're gonna get. Here's what I want you to do with the data. And here's what I want the output to look like. So we're gonna say, hey, you're gonna get a form submission with the name, the company, the role, and some extra information. You have access to the Tavily tool. I want you to use the Tavily tool to do research on the company and the role before creating the cover letter. And lastly, I want you to create the cover letter. And you can add some more customization with that as you want, right? Say how you kind of want the tone to be, the length, all that stuff. Hey, so what I wrote was you're an expert in cover letter creation. You'll receive user info, name, company, role, and extra info. You have access to the Tavily tool, do the research. And I said, once you have the info, write a cover letter that focuses on why this company, why this role, and why now. So let's test it out and see what happens. Okay, then right here on the right, we can see the full output, which is awesome. So next thing we need to do is do another webhook. But this is going to be respond to webhook and it's going to return the data we had. So we'll do JSON and then right here, we're going to do expression and we're just going to map this in here, right? So this is what it's going to be sending. So just like that, we created our, you know, little cover letter builder. Now we want to do the connections, right? We had this fake data in here. So let's save this first. But now we want to start using some real data. So let's unpin this guy. And now we have our test URL. So copy the test URL just by clicking on it. We'll go back in the lovable and we're gonna say, hey, um, let's change this to post. we we'll are recopy it. And we're gonna say, hey, I have a post webhook URL, insert URL that I need you to connect you to, I need you to connect with because I want the data from the form submission to go here to our background. So, so here we are inside a lovable in the bottom left, inside the prompt that said, I need a post webhook URL with this URL set up copy pasted it in there and said the form submission data needs to be sent here so the end and back end can create the cover letter. So hit next and then it builds it. Okay, it's updated. So let's test it out. We'll do get started, fill out some information. Name is Chase, open AI. I want to be a software dev intern and I made a calculator app once. So before we hit continue, Go back to N8N, and we want to listen for test events. Then hit continue. Let's see if it gets the information. We do generate cover letter. Okay, cool. It got the info we needed. So in this, because we're probably going to need to change some stuff around. 
um, come into here. And we'll see right away we need to change the prompt because it wasn't exactly what it pushed out. So we'll delete this, come on down, and we want to send the body, right? So right here, the body, we drag that in there. It gives the name, company, role, blah, 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 right? And it's fine. It's super ugly like this. The AI is smart enough to be able to decipher all this information. So doing that, let's test the step now, see if everything works. Cool. All right. Did the proper output. And then let's see what happens if we then respond to webhook. It says invalid JSON. Check that the syntax. If you get something like this and it says ask assistant, we'll see if the assistant actually works. The N8N like built-in AI assistant has honestly gotten a lot better <laughs> than what it was not too long ago. So it says to fix this, wrap your string in an object. So let's see if that works. So taking a suggestion, let's do test step. And okay, it worked. And yeah, it's ugly, but whatever data we push from NNN, as we come back here to um, Lovable, we can tell it, hey, that was messed up. Can you fix it? Can you make it look nicer? So now we know the data is getting pushed to NNN and that the data is flowing properly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go from test to production. So how do we do that? So first things first, come here to this webhook and we're going to do production URL. You can unpin this. And same thing as before, just tell it, hey, I have a new post webhook that I want to use, and then give it the production URL. And then before you do that, you also want to put this to active. That way it's actually properly listening. And so you can set it to active by just coming up here and clicking active. Um, we'll actually refresh this guy real quick. And then go into Lovable and give it the new production URL. So I just said, hey, use this post webhook URL now. Hey, it updated the webhook URL. So let's try doing this cover letter again. So we'll go back. We'll keep the same information. And let's hit continue. Generate cover letter. And we'll see if it works. And while it's processing, you can actually hop into N8N and hit executions up here. And you can actually make sure over here on the top left side, is it actually running? And what's actually happening because if something goes wrong you'll see an error right away looks like it succeeded so let's hop back into lovable and well it says it worked let's see what happened here so if we click here we see there was an actual output right so we know the back end was working right the output worked successfully but inside of lovable we're not seeing it so what do we do we just say hey lovable it says it's working on the back end. Why am I not seeing the cover letter here? So I wrote, NAN says it gave you a JSON output, but I'm not seeing it displayed. And so Lovable responded with, I can see the NAN webhook is returning JSON output, but it's not being displayed. Let me just modify it. So expect to kind of have this back and forth, right? You have two different programs, two different applications talking to one another. Sometimes stuff gets lost in the translation. But the nice thing is, we know it was working inside of NAN. So if you know something's working on the back end, there's just something going on on the front end where it's not just displaying it properly or something along those lines. But luckily, Lovable is pretty smart, so just talk to it in plain English. Here's what's happening with NAN. Why am I not seeing it? What can we do? Okay, it says it updated it. So let's try it again. Go to Get Started. Um, I'm going to do the same information. And I made a calculator app. Don't forget that. Hit continue. Generate the cover letter. And let's see if it works this time. Okay, there we go. Dear hiring team, expressing my enthusiasm, blah, 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 blah. I want to be full spec developer, right? Cool stuff. And let's double check here inside of N8N. Is this the actual thing we output? And so we'll see here at 11.59, right? What did the output look like? Boom, writing to express my enthusiasm, writing to express my enthusiasm. So we know Lovable didn't just make it up. This is the legitimate output from NNN. So pretty cool, right? So there you go, guys. You just created your first web app, right? <laughs> um, not too bad. And you could like obviously continue to build on this and all this stuff, but hey, we got it working. Front ends talking with back end and we're actually doing something.
Now, what if I want to publish this? I actually want to put this online for people to use. Well, just come up to the top right where it says publish. And it has domains here. They give you like a free ugly one, right? That has a level in it. Um, you could always change that, but we hit publish. And there we go, right? Obviously we could put some sort of picture here and actually make it look nice, but I hit get started and you got it. So there you have it guys. You now have the ability to create your own web apps and SaaS applications with Lovable and NNN and the possibilities are quite literally limitless, right? We can get really, really sophisticated with the NNN stuff as you've seen before. And with this simple demo, that whole idea of having the webhook and just making sure they're talking back and forth, that's all there is to it. So. Um, I'd love to see what kind of web apps you guys create with this sort of um, framework. Uh, let me know how it goes and good luck out there.